That's right, we're out here in the desert in Tomorrow. Tomorrow. Saguaro. I don't Tomorrow. know if you pronounce that G or not. Some people do, some people don't. I half I try to half pronounce Saguaro. Squaro. It's like people saying, you know, Worcester. Yeah. Worcester. All right, so thanks for joining us in the, in the afternoon here. Well, we got five o'clock back there, right? You okay? So I'm trying to kill you over there? Something's trying to kill me over here. Don't take much. Imagine, I always imagine, I was walking around out there and thinking, like, if you fall in the woods in New England, it's not that big a deal. You, you, you know, you might scrape your hand on a couple rocks or, you know, get some dirt in there. You'd be in the hospital if you did, if you fell and rolled around a little, just a tiny bit out here. Yeah, if you fell down a hill over here, you're done for. <laughs> you're done for. It would be a problem. I bet it is a problem. I know, you imagine the, you imagine the Arizona hospital, like the Tucson hospital. Must, they must have like their own cactus ward. Rattlesnakes, there's a bunch of rattlesnake kind of, warnings yeah. everywhere. <laughs> you know, those... Yeah, there's probably a snake bite wing of the hospital. There's probably a there's probably a way of just nurses just pulling shit out of people's feet all day long. <laughs> you know? Oh my god. My god. It's pouring rain over there. Oh, can you bring some of that over here? It's so <laughs> it's so dry. So alright, like I like to do here, Ooh. let me before we play the next song, I'll show you around. Mm. Let me flip the let me flip the script on you. So we're on a pull-off here. Out in the desert. All right. So this is Saguaro National Park. We hit the vis we hit up the visitor center. We went on a nice trail and checked it out quite a bit. And then we found a place that had decent Wi-Fi to kind of show you. Look at this shit, huh? So it's like another planet over here for us. I was taking a walk through, and we'll take a walk. I'll take a walk through at the end of the show. Like walk down kind of like a path like that, and it splits off into other. There are much more marked paths in the in the park, but this is like this is like a pull off. See, you can kind of see how we're like in a not quite a rest area. They just have these like pull offs for photo, you know, to take pictures and stuff and to do live streams. I said, yeah, we're we're busking over here. We're just terrible at finding locations. Walking along those trails is like that game of operation where you like you got to stay right in where you. You gotta be very careful not to touch either edge. Everything out here will destroy you. Everything can kill you, <laughs> including the heat, the lack of humidity. Okay, like a dry day in New England, for example, a dry day in New England is about 47% humidity. That's pretty dry. Out here, it's about 20%. Yeah. So it's drier than any New England day you've ever experienced. Oh, but it's a dry heat. And yeah. I've been told by my mother I... and by the hiker's guide from Saguaro National Park that you got to eat salty foods in order to maintain water. And Jeff questioned whether or not that was true. But after reading the hiker's guide, um, I think my mom's right. The hiker's guide to the galaxy. And I ate uh, two bags of chips and two bottles of water I ate. Yeah. <laughs> and I think I've lost all of it already. Yeah. So dry. I'm not complaining. I'm just very, I'm not used to this. I wasn't. I wasn't prepared for how dry it would be. <laughs> la, 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 Fa la 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 All right. <laughs> well, Christmas music in the desert. All right. Rocky All right. <laughs> Did you see who passed by? No. It's official. The police in Squaw in, in Arizona are, are cooler than the police in where? San Antonio. In Texas. Texas. <laughs> San Antonio, Texas. Texas. The, they got, we got shut down in the Alamo, but a, a, cop, okay. a cop just drove by. Not that they, they would have a problem with this, but um, a cop just drove by and gave us a thumbs up on, on his motor. Really? On he his, did? Yeah, on his motorcycle. <laughs> I thought it was a biker, and then I saw that it was a police motorcycle. Uh, oh, can you look? Uh, it's a Rocky Raccoon. I want to hear the Rocky Yeah, Raccoon. this is one I meant to do while we were at Tombstone, because this, this is a song about a shootout. Mm -hmm. And the doctor came in 
He was thinking of gin Proceeded to lie on the table He said, Rock, you met your match Rock said, ah, Doc, it's only a scratch And I'll be better, I'll be better Doc, as soon as I am a boy Now Rocky Raccoon I fell back to his room Only to find Gideon's Bible Gideon checked out, and he left it no doubt to help with good Rocky's revival. So you can get cactuses. I want a cactus, but Jeff said no. I'm um, yeah. I put my foot down on, on the cactus. I want to buy a little a baby Idea. squirrel. I wanted a baby squirrel. A baby. Goes, can we baby buy a squirrel. cactus for my sister? <laughs> we're not, no, we're not driving around myself. with it. We can barely pack the van as it is. We can't. We're not. We're not driving baby, around with a cactus for two weeks. I want a baby squirrel. I want one that's like maybe three years old. You know, and it's a little pot. And I'll watch over it and I'll pet it at night and rip you can, my fingers apart. You can order a cactus. Oh, I'm gonna order a cactus from the yeah. Am from the Amazon. From the cactus outlet, it's called. <laughs> Amazon we're, doesn't own everything. As long as we're not driving around with a cactus in the van for two weeks, you do whatever you want. <laughs> yeah, because they, I mean, they grow so slow. I could be like, I could be like 90 years old before they get a, before they even get their arms. I mean, geez, 75 years? No, I won't even be here. I won't be 105. I really don't have high hopes for that. <laughs> I'll sneak out of this asylum a big night before the dawn The nurses and the guards will never know that I've been gone In the day the lunatics will up and dancing on the lawn And the man helped to fill the poor man's cup I got butts, I got demons, I got trauma, I got chits
So uh, thanks so much for checking in. This has been really fun. We're going right, to show so you around the park a little bit. Before I even... We'll just get our stuff kind of kind of in there. This goes right here. This goes inside. If you want the tour of the desert, you can just hang out for one second while we put our things back in the van and the cooler, and that's about it. So, all right, we'll be ready in 30 seconds for you here. All right. Now you be careful with those pants. I'll go back the way I, I, I went a little bit earlier. All right, check this out. This is gonna be fun. Now, careful about where you step okay. every, everywhere. Always watch your feet. You gotta take a look before you step. All this stuff, there's so many, there's so many goddamn pricks out here. It's worse than Massachusetts. So look at again it's not much of a trail i can't imagine the horses going through this but they you know animals are pretty nimble i suppose if you grow up around this you kind of get used to it we met a couple from new hampshire and then they were, they were telling us about somebody they were talking to in this area in the desert and they go oh i'm not afraid of the desert at all but those those woods you got up there in new hampshire i'm afraid of all those trees and we go huh how can you be afraid of trees well you never know what's behind them yeah. Huh? So these are the pencil, the pencil Charles, right? We're starting to learn the names of some of these things. And then the other kind, yeah. Look at. So here's here's Noel, all right? I'm five two, maybe five three with these boots on. Here, let me back up. I don't know if I can back up far enough for this. There you go. That'll give you an idea. That's what we're looking at. So what would you say that one, two, three, probably four Noels, a younger one, probably what, 75 years old for these guys? The short, fat one. It's a toad. What'd you call me? What? All right, we can't go that way. Water? Always pushing water on this guy. Thank you. All right, I want to go back kind of, we're going we're gonna to get into it a little bit here. We're making Kim nervous. All right here, ready? We're out in the middle of the desert. Cactus. Like I said, it's, it's like that game, of, that game operation where you, you can't touch the sides. So there's Tucson. I don't know how well you can see the city over there. Well, it's like the outskirts of the city, but. So you gotta watch for rattlesnakes. You gotta watch for, what else do we have to watch out for? Black bears, but I think we're all right right now. Snakes, bobcats, not much. Is there snakes? Yeah, I haven't seen a snake yet, but yes, they, we're, we've been warned about snakes. Yeah, that cactus gotta be like easily 150 right there. 150, yeah, so like this guy with all his arms and, the, and that height, kind of height, well over a hundred year old cactus. That one's got like eight arms over there. This is right awesome, now. huh? I wonder how many arms a cactus, a saguaro cactus can get. I got my saguaro shirt on. <laughs> <laughs> Not sure what happened to this guy's arm. This guy almost got his arm cut off here. All right, let's take a walk back up the hill. It's a beautiful day out. It's not, uh, there's a lot of cloud coverage right now. All day has been. And what's the temperature about? Probably about 70, it feels like 70. That's the other thing I wanna tell you about Tucson and what, what we're finding out is that this is actually peak season for places like this, for the desert, because it's not unbearably hot like it is during our warm months, May through October. For instance, the KOA we're seeing at, there, <laughs> Their, their office hours are reduced great vastly in the summer and May through October. But this is the busiest time of year to be in Tucson because it's not 120 degrees out. <laughs> you 
know, so it's uh, it's really weird. It was it's weird thinking that their off season is May through October, yeah. and it's really weird being in, in the desert in January. It's so warm. Lots of life out here. You guys drink twice as much water as you would every hour. Every hour, and you got lotion your skin. I'd be kind of Yeah, and then these guys are everywhere. Yeah, those are the scariest ones. Water. What tree is this? That's the uh, uh, grapefruit tree, the green fruit chala. I don't know where the path is anymore. There is no path. We're just out here walking on the side of the road in the desert. It was a busy day. We went to the visitor center and uh, before we got here, paid our, they like to pay the fee. Even if, I mean, this one we could kind of, doesn't seem like it would even matter and the, at this park. You can just pull off anywhere and just go walking around, but pay our $25 national park tax, I call it, you know. Fine with that one, you know. That is probably like 15 years Oh yeah. Oh, it's so cute. Isn't it cute? They're like so cute when they're. Old. Look at them. Look at baby those little cactus. baby cactus. That's what so... I, mean. I want one. <laughs> no. I want it. We're not putting that in the van. Oh my god, I want it. Hell no. I want a little one. I want one that's like, I don't know, six months to a year old. Right? They're so cute at that age. Oh, Jeff, the Apache. Let, let me tell them that the Apache Indians, one of their ways to torture uh, their captives was to oh. tie them to a cactus and leave them to die. Yeah. This was like, that was torture back a couple hundred years ago. It's a lot more thickly uh, settled than I thought. Like, uh, as far as, um, it's like a forest of uh, cacti here, you know. There's these little guys everywhere. I gotta get the, I gotta get the names of them so I don't have to, so I don't have to just say, in the desert, there were plants and rocks and, and things. The giants of the desert right there. So there's like a valley that probably gets filled up with water when the when the heavy rains come. They have like a monsoon season in this part of the country where, you know, you'll see what they say is you see the, uh, the clouds coming. You see the storm forming and you got to get ready real quick. Wow. 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 That's a big fuzzy bush over there. Yeah. I think Noel wants me to come back. I probably should. Well, look at these guys. That is the fruit charo. They look so soft. There's Tucson out there. Over there. So we got a show to do tomorrow. I shouldn't wander too far off. All right, let's head back. All right, let's see. Where Do you guys remember where the van? The, oh shit, do you guys remember where the van is? Oh man. Just kidding, it's right over there. We're good. Thanks for checking in live. All right, I see the van. There's Tucson in the distance. Noel! Oh, she's sitting in the van. <laughs> Noel got back to the van. All right, we've seen. You get the gist, right? There's your desert show. I thought it was a real good one. I hope you did too. So we're making our way back to the road. Here's our careful trail. Careful now. Ha <laughs> ha.
<laughs> Alright, you ready to hit the road? Alright, we're gonna hit the road. We'll see you tomorrow. We might be going live from our friend's Lou, Lou's house. Luthier Lou. Lou the Luthier. We'll be staying at his house. We have a friend in Tucson. He'll be making us dinner and putting us up for the night. So we gotta thank Lou big time for that. And uh, all right, so we'll see you guys tomorrow from somewhere in Tucson. Thanks for thanks so much for checking in. And also peace to everybody watching in the future. All right.